Greetings in our Messiah Yeshua. Psalm 23 paints a really good picture of trusting in the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We have lying down in green pastures, our souls being restored, preparing a table for us in the presence of our enemies, anointing our heads with oil, goodness and mercy following us. But I want to focus on one aspect, and that's having no fear in a difficult situation. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Let's talk about fear first. You know, there's aspects to fear, some of which is good and some of which is not. One of First one, we've got fear of doing foolish things. Call it a protection mechanism. Maybe fear of getting too close to the edge of a cliff or getting too close to a fire. We know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So what is the fear of the Lord? A respect, a reverent honoring of God. But what I want to focus on is our reaction to harsh or unpleasant circumstances where we have little control. In this COVID-19 situation, what do we have? You may have this yourself or people you know or whatever, and you know, you've got fear of getting sick, fear of making someone else sick, fear of death, um, job loss, right? There's a lot of people out of work, financial strain, financial loss, provision loss, fear of even the way of life being changed with all the restrictions and so forth. So there's a lot of potential for fear. So in the midst of all of this, what should we be experiencing? Well, I think scripturally, in general, we should be experiencing peace. 1 Peter 5, 6 says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. So our response should be to cast all our anxieties on him. Now I'll confess that I don't remember to do that all the time, right? So I think it would be helpful if we would focus on some aspects of what we already have inherently in our Messiah, Yeshua. So Romans 8, 15 says, for you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father. So past tense, we have received the spirit of adoption of sons, and we did not receive a spirit to fall back into fear. So inherently in Messiah, we already have those things. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 6 and 7, For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying out of my hands. For God gave us not a spirit of fear, but of power and love and self-control. So we're told here that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but that he has, past tense, given us a spirit of power, love, and self-control. In Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 and 15, since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has power of death, that is the devil, and deliver all those through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery. So Yeshua came to deliver from the fear of death. And I think we could safely extrapolate that by these other verses to say that he came to deliver us from the spirit of fear or from fear in general. 
So if you find yourself giving in to fear, focus on what Yeshua has already done for you and who you are in Messiah. 2 Corinthians 5.17 tells us that you're a new creation in Messiah. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. May the Lord grant you peace and may you recognize to the fullest who you are in Messiah Yeshua.